Capricorn. These are some very unique times that we're living in. And so I know it's hard on families, it's hard on businesses, and we live in a community where, where we are extremely blessed. And right now, uh, there are some things I wanna let you know. I know that the Board of Public Affairs and the Dalton Village Council both voted unanimously to have a reduction in our water rates. So prior to the vote, the water rate was $4.64 per thousand for your first 3,000 gallons. Then prior to the vote, it was also an additional $10.08 per thousand for every gallon used, for every thousand gallons used above that particular amount. So the new change will still have the rate at 464,000 for your first 3,000 gallons, but then anything above that will be $6.50 a thousand as opposed to the $10.08. Because right now everyone is telling you to stay home, stay clean, wash more thoroughly, and do more sanitation than what you've done in the past. And typically the rate would have actually, I believe, caused a hardship for families and uh, wanted to be able to do something in order to be able to, um, to allow uh, kind of like a, a price break for the residents of the village. I'd like to thank the Board of Public Affairs and Council for their vision and leadership in order to be able to allow us to do this at this time. We're going to turn around and we're going to reassess the, uh, the amount of money be being generated from that. Uh, probably every six months, the Board of Public Affairs will look at that to figure out if we need to make any further adjustments from there. Uh, I'd also like to thank all of our village employees that have been out providing all the essential services. I know with all the storms and everything going on, um, Dave and Bobby have been out doing a lot of uh, cleanup work. There's been a lot of actually down trees and different things out on the trail. And uh, so it's, it's nice to see that, you know, we're one of the very few communities that actually kept their employees working. And um, right now it's, it's, it's paid dividends for us because of especially having things like the storms. I would like to personally thank all of our first responders. Those individuals from East Wayne Fire District that go out every day in a selfless way to be able to provide services for us. Uh, typically the first time that I heard a call that had to deal with someone who had symptoms, um, it was kind of tough because I could picture in my mind not only the individuals responding to the call, but also to the individual's families. So when you have a volunteer fire department and individuals willing to sacrifice uh, the way that they are right now, I think it's, it's something where they are be, there to be commended. Down at the Dalton Village Green Park, I know that there are some signs that are down there. If you would like to show support for our area first responders, you can feel free to go down there and get one of those signs. Uh, at the same time, uh, our police officers are actually, uh, they've made some sacrifices as well. The resource officers from uh, the school district, we have actually been able to keep them on and typically they're looking out for you in the middle of the night. So um, those individuals are actually working third shift right now to ensure that the bad guys aren't coming to the village and doing things that they shouldn't. So we have a lot of things going on in the village. I know that we had a council meeting last night and we held it at uh, the Village Green Park. We needed to actually have something where we did it in person because we have so many things going on in the village right now. Right now there's uh, some growth to the west and that growth will uh, require us to do some things as far as for some sewer line upgrades and there'll be more information coming out about that in the not too distant future. But council needed to meet yesterday in order to be able to see a lot of the blueprints and the plans for that. And um, everyone was there at the Village Green Park. They had their, their social distancing and everyone had their masks on. So they were doing everything that they needed to do to, to maintain uh, a safe environment. Jim Abel, who has been our wastewater and water superintendent for probably the past three and a half years, will be retiring here at the end of the month. And so if you have a chance to 
drop Jim a note if you just let him know how much we appreciated the things that he's actually he's done for us here in the community. When Jim leaves, we're going to be contracting with AgriSludge that will be handling a lot of our EPA paperwork. And with that, we will uh, also be having Terry West come back to the village of Dalton. Terry has a lot of knowledge for the infrastructure of our community, especially when it comes to water and sewer lines. And he is currently an employee with AgriSludge and will be spending a portion of uh, his week here with us in the village of Dalton. We've hired a new employee uh, as far as a general laborer, and his name is Tyler Sisk, and he started on Monday. Um, we have, uh, it, it's important that during this time that you continue to support our area businesses. So continue to go down and, and, and place your order with, uh, with the dairy yet. Um, typically, we, we know that the world is not coming to an end because the Dalton Dairy Yet is open and they're going through and they're doing their business. And um, also, make sure you support all the other businesses in the community. I like every once in a while getting myself a double crusted pizza down there at, uh, at Krause's. P. Graham Dunn has actually switched some of their manufacturing in order to be able to produce face shields for first responders and people in the medical field. 3D Meats and Strebs, their, their businesses are going strong. Layman's Warehouse has actually been doing extremely well. They've even add, had to add a second shift in order to be able to keep up with the demand. So, um, and even Mars is doing extremely well. So the businesses, we have some businesses still doing extremely well. Uh, we have a lot of good things that are going on in the village. When it comes to everything that's going on in the world, please continue to stay positive. And uh, don't be afraid to reach out to a neighbor, give them a call, uh, drop something off for them, do some shopping for them. We are only as strong as our community and the individuals that live here. And so I'm proud to be um, mayor of the village of Dalton, and I'm proud to be here to serve you. Thank you.